Hi tea friends, welcome to another Tea Diaries. Today we're drinking an Old Bush Milan Sam, Dan Song Oolong. This is one I picked up from Wui Origin, uh, a very popular online store for uh, Wui Mountain Oolong teas. The Milan Siang variety is a very nice, sweet rock oolong, and it's one that translates roughly as a honey orchid fragrance, and is a Dan Song from the Phoenix Mountain region in Fujian province. I subscribed to the Global Tea Hut magazine and they did a feature on Wui Oolongs back in September 2019. That really piqued my interest and I thought I'd try out a couple. So I'd heard good things about Wui Origins both through some online reviews and from watching TDB videos on YouTube. This one is from Li Jai Ping Village in Phoenix Mountain. So the leaves are believed to come from bushes that are over 100 years old, hence the old bush name. I thought this might do something interesting to the tea, so I wanted to give it a go. It's been roasted two times using traditional charcoal over a low temperature for a long period of time. This gives it quite a nice balanced texture. This tea worked out to be about 48 cents per gram, so you can get 100 grams for $48 US. First, we're going to warm up the teaware. I'm going to the smell of the leaves. I like to shake them around a bit to, to really get the fragrance out. Mmm. Has a really, really bright and light, really bright and light um, smell to it. Almost like, um, almost like light cheese. So I'll just give it a quick rinse. I'm going to rinse for about 10 seconds just to, just to warm the leaves up. So the, the wet leaves have lost some of the, the fruity flavor. Instead have have sort of more of that orchid honey flavor, orchid honey smell. For me, it just has this, it smells like it's going to be sweet. So the first infusion, we're going to go with about 10 seconds. Mm. And you see it comes up a nice golden color. Cheers. At this stage, early on in the tea, I'm getting some of those floral notes come through. There's a there's a nice texture to the tea. It's not as thick as some of the raw pu'er I've been drinking recently. Typical of Wu Wei teas, it's got a nice mineral flavor that lingers at the back of the mouth. So for the second infusion, we're also going to do about 10 seconds. Pretty much my default for teas at the moment is to, uh, particularly the varieties of tea I've been doing, is to do 10 seconds until it doesn't look strong enough, and then slowly up the up the brewing times. You can see it's still got that beautiful golden, amber, yellowy color. Cheers. By this second infusion, we're getting much more of the sweetness coming through. It's um, a little bit less floral. It sort of has a less of the tangy notes that I associate with floral, and it's starting to be a little bit more sweet. So it's still got uh, a really nice, interesting set of Interesting set of flavors and textures coming through strong in these early steeps. So for steep number three, we're gonna go for a little bit longer. It's uh, at 10 seconds, it's not quite, quite there. So we'll give it about 15. Cheers. By the third steeping, the high notes have really quietened down. You're starting to notice more of the, more of the sweetness come through. Coats the tongue nicely all the way to the, the back of the mouth. As you get through each steep, there's just more and more of that lovely mineral sensation. That sort of a little bit of tingling that uh, uh, catches you at the back of the cheeks. So by this fourth infusion, the leaves have really opened up. It's taking a little while for them to to brew through. So I'll give it maybe about about 20 seconds. What I'm doing is just pulling the leaves aside a bit so I can see see how it looks down to the bottom of the gaiwan, and there I can see what the the color of the the tea looks like. Give me a sense as to when to pour. Cheers. And now you have very little of the floral remains at all. And it's a lot about that sweetness that, uh, that comes through. And it's been a real pleasant surprise to discover that the well-roasted teas just add a roundness to the texture and flavor. There's a lot to be said for well-processed oolong teas. Yeah, so I'm incredibly happy with this tea. I've done a number of sessions with it and it does go for quite a number of brews. I think it's uh, normally around brew six or seven that it starts to to really lose a bit of its luster. All the leaves coming from old bushes has made that much of a difference that I can taste. However, it is a very complex and rich uh, Milan Xiang uh, Dan Song. And so I'm very happy to have tried it. Happy drinking.